Hi, I'm Dr. Charles Strom. I'm a transplant surgeon, and I also volunteer as the medical advisor elect for the Association of Organ Procurement Organizations. Recently, there has been a lot of talk in the news and online about one of the pathways to deceased organ donation known as donation after circulatory death, or DCD. It's being increasingly used in the donation and transplantation field to save more lives, but it's a very complex medical process. So I wanted to take a minute to explain how DCD works. The process begins when a patient at a hospital is on a ventilator with a severe injury or illness, and the hospital team determines the patient is unlikely to survive. The hospital notifies the local organ procurement organization, or OPO, so an evaluation of suitability for organ donation can occur. The hospital team also speaks with the family about stopping life-sustaining ventilator support. Once the hospital and family have made a decision, the OPO talks with the family to explain the donation process and determine whether it is one, medically possible, and two, desired by the family, if the patient hasn't already signed up to become a donor. Every donation involves many specialists, each of whom have distinct roles and responsibilities. For example, OPOs do not prescribe treatments for patients, participate in end-of-life decision-making, or determine when someone is dead. Those are the sole responsibilities of the hospital's medical team in collaboration with the patient's family and are guided by strict clinical protocols and safeguards. Once organ donation is authorized, the OPO is on standby for when the hospital medical team removes ventilator support. After death is declared by the hospital, meaning the heart and breathing have stopped for an observed period of time, then the OPO proceeds with organ recovery. If patients do not pass away within a specific time frame after the ventilator is withdrawn, usually 60 to 120 minutes, then they are no longer candidates for donation and the hospital continues care. If the patient does pass away, meaning their heart and breathing have stopped permanently, then the hospital team, independent of the OPO, will formally declare death. The OPO uses the national wait list to offer the donor's organs to transplant centers with compatible patients. Organs are recovered, preserved, and transported to the transplant centers who have accepted them to be used in life-saving treatments. After the decision has been made to donate, regardless of whether or not transplants occur, the OPO offers to stay in touch with the donor family to provide ongoing emotional support and grief resources. If organs are transplanted, the OPO will provide updates on how the family's loved ones helped others. Thousands of Americans are alive today thanks to DCD and the generosity of organ donors and their families who chose to say yes to donation. Organ donation can touch many people and some donors may save up to eight lives. Please visit www.factsaboutorgandonation.com to learn more and consider registering today.